I'm currently holding my dog's toy because she keeps squeaking it while I'm trying to do this intro. Hey, it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm making some cheap faux terracotta planters. I got this idea off of the trash to terracotta hashtag. I forget uh, the gal's name who first started this, but I was inspired by that and I wanted to do my own like patterns that looked like terracotta because pottery is pretty expensive. So I actually got some planters at Goodwill and some plant samples at Home Depot and I'm going to be making some chalk paint. I got the recipe from Pinterest, made my own tweaks to it to make it fit for me. This ended up being a really cheap project. The planters that I got were about $10 for three of them um, and then I got seven different paints um, like the little sample sizes and that total was 30 bucks so $40 for all the supplies and you definitely don't need to get seven different paints but I wanted to do some different patterns with different colors before we get into this video make sure you are subscribed down below for more videos like these and to stay up to date with my channel without further ado let's get right into it so I went with a matte finish for the paint sample and I did seven different colors like I said. Um, it doesn't really matter what brand or anything you get, I just chose the cheapest one. And then here is one of the planters that I got from Goodwill. I did wipe this down really really well um, just with COVID and everything going on. For the actual paint mix I did a two to one ratio. So you do a cup of paint and a half a cup of baking soda. Um, I did a lot for the terracotta just because this would be the main color for all of my planters but you'll see later on I do some smaller batches. But if you want a large batch, um, it'll just always be a two to one ratio, so you can go bigger or smaller from there. I gave this mixture a really, really good mix. Um, make sure you do this until there are no clumps left. Um, and if you find that it's a little bit too thin, you can go ahead and add in some extra baking soda, which is what I did as well, um, just until it's like a nice consistency. Since this is the base layer, I wanted to make sure this was really grainy. And then also add in some water. I don't know, Pinterest said do this, so I, I didn't really do this for the smaller batches and I didn't notice a difference. So you can probably just skip this step if you'd like. I went ahead and did two layers on each planter for the base layer. Uh, the first layer was pretty opaque, but just to make sure that it was completely orange, I did two base layers. And here you can see I'm doing these smaller batches. So I just put down some paint and then roughly like half a teaspoon of baking soda and I just mixed until it felt thick enough, um, like the same consistency as the base layer. I did notice that for the darker the color, the more baking soda I had to use to make it grainy. So I don't know if you'll have the same problem, but just keep that in mind. If you do have a lot of dark colors, it might take some more baking soda. Here are all of the finished planters. I really love how they turned out. Just go wild with any pattern you want to do. I saw some of these on Pinterest and um, Instagram, so take inspiration from wherever. Just go shopping for your favorite planters, honestly. And obviously you don't have to do a base layer of the terracotta color if you don't want. And this planter is my absolute favorite. I love all the different colors and also the gold accents. All right, well, there you have it. That is how you make some faux terracotta um, or chalk paint planters. Um, if you want to get a nice terracotta look without the price, this is a great option for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave in the comments down below if you have tried this out before or if you're going to try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.